Still staying with matters of elections, the NDC has said notice it will protest, go on a demonstration, a nationwide demonstration to express their displeasure about the decision by the Electoral Commission not to agree to a forensic audit to the voters register. This is on the 17th of September. That's the notice they have said. And but this was after the party filed the nomination, the national chairman filed the nomination, a presidential nomination forms for uh, John Rawani Mahama, who's a flag bearer of the MPP. And he, uh, NDC, I beg your pardon, the flag bearer of the NDC. He was not alone um, in this. Uh, the flag bearer of the MPP, Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya as well, filed his nomination in the company of his running mate, Dr. Masio Poko Prempe, and then also uh, other members of the party, and later addressed the party's uh, supporters at the headquarters here in Accra. Let's give you an idea of what happened at the Electoral Commission offices today. Take a look. And uh, this based on the information that we do have so far. These were the persons um, who uh, went to the Electoral Commission's offices earlier today to file the presidential nomination forms. We are on the ballot. There is no way we will not win this election. It's not just going to take the campaign to make this, but it's going to take the people of this country to decide and make this a better place. And uh, I don't think they have, any, they, they, they have any chance to beat me this very 2024 election. From our rounds, there are all indications that change is in the air sure. and so we just crave your indulgence to secure the peace of the country before during and after the elections we wish to urge the commission to also play their role as a neutral umpire Well, so the national chair of the NDC filed on behalf of John Dramani Mahama, flag bearer of the NDC. And around 2 p.m. today, around 9 a.m. today, Dr. Mahmoud Bamiya, the company of some, uh, the leadership of the party, also filed. Uh, and then Dr. Hassan Ayariga, uh, that's around 1 p.m. or about, also filed uh, his forms, nomination forms. And then there are some persons you may not, probably know here because um, they are going in as independent candidates. Uh, some you may not have even heard of. Samo Apia Dankwa probably might be a new name to a number of you, but if you've been watching Ghana tonight, we've mentioned him a couple of times. He says he's representing yellow Ghana, but that, 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 that color yellow is much synonymous to the movement for change. You can remember that George Chum Berima Edu, also an independent candidate, he filed today his forms, Nana Kwame Bediakon, the New Force Movement, also filed the nomination forms today. And then we have Christian Kwamna Andrews, GUM, Ghana Union Movement. He came third in the 2020 elections. You can describe him as the third force in the 2020 elections, and you're not going to be wrong. He filed his nomination forms today. Percival Kofi Akpalu of the Liberal Party of Ghana, LPG, also filed his nomination forms today. So today, eight, eight presidential hopefuls, people who want to appear on the ballot paper on December 7 to seek your mandate as president to lead this country. And guess what? According to the latest information we have from the Electoral Commission, there are 33, 33 individuals who picked nomination forms to contest as president of the Republic of Ghana going into uh, this election, December 7, 33 people seeking to lead this country in this election. After the Electoral Commission goes through the process, we'll see if all 33 would go through or some will fall off as we go in. But just think about 33 people on a ballot paper. It's going to be long. We'll see how things play out. But after the NDC's national chair filed the nomination of John Mahama, he had a message about what the party intends to do concerning the voters register. Take a look. We want an independent audit of the system, a commission that is interested in its own credibility. If you don't have anything to hide, why are you running away? On the 17th of this month, the NDC is embarking on a massive nationwide demonstration. 
in all 16 regional capitals. Descend on the Electoral Commission offices and we in Accra will descend to the headquarters and present further petitions as to why we think that we sh they should conduct themselves in a manner that to uh, guarantee peaceful, free and fair elections. Well, that's the notice served by the NDC there. Let's stay a bit further on this. Dr. Rashid Tanko Computer is Deputy Director in charge of IT and Elections for the NDC. Joining us on Zoom. Appreciate your time, Dr. Tanko. So uh, you had a meeting with the Electoral Commission on Friday, brought out these issues that you had identified after the exhibition of the voter register a couple of weeks ago. They gave you their responses. It appears that did not answer those questions that you had, is it not? Uh, Alfred, yes, like uh, stated by our venerable national chairman, uh, Honorable John Nasir Nketia, we are going to embark on a very massive demonstration, unprecedented of its kind, in, 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 in Ghana. Seriously, because what is going on, if we don't sit up and point out to the Electoral Commission that whatever they are doing, they are, they are on the path to jeopardizing our democracy. That is what we want them to know. Because we have identified these disc discrepancies, we presented it to them, they have accepted that yes, the register has problems. They accepted it. That there are problems and that they are taking time to, to clean the problems in the register. But we don't trust the judgment of the Electoral Commission. The, 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 the discrepancies are so grievous that if we don't bring external auditors to do forensic audits. Mm. We are not going to have any better register for this election. I, I see, but when you, when you made that demand for an external auditor of the register on Friday during that meeting you had with them, what was the Electoral Commission's response or their position to that request? Well, they were telling us that actually they think that they can, they can do the work themselves. They, they are in the process of cleaning the register and that we should present whatever we have for them and they will take time and look at it. And, and they were just assuring us that they will make sure that all the anomalies are corrected. But you see, we don't trust the judgment of the same issue that caused these anomalies. Because most of the things they did were, uh, uh, they were just avoidable mistakes. Because you cannot be adding old data to this current data. And you cannot be transferring people when they, are, they did not apply for any transfer. I mean, we, we demonstrated all this to them. And so we think that the moment people are able to, to find the, 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 the passwords and, and codes to their own system and can get into it through the back door to manipulate the data the way they've manipulated this data, it means that we need an external auditor to come and check this, to assure us that, look, this system is now robust, this system is now close knit and can be used for a purpose. But as of now, the system is not closed. It's open. It's porous. It's so porous. Their system is so porous. They accepted it. They themselves said it. In fact, their officer in charge of IT was telling us that they have been able to identify those people who managed to get into their system. Their own officers. It wasn't an external person. It's their own officers who manipulated the system by transferring innocent Ghanaians without their knowledge. So why should we trust the judgment of the EC that they can do a better job? in cleaning the register. The issue about the register now is not in contention because everybody has now agreed. They, the Electoral Commission has agreed that right. the, the register no. is not clean. It's not need, It's not good for purpose. So it is not only NDC who is talking. They, even the Electoral Commission themselves agree that the register is not fit for purpose. And therefore, they are doing something about it. Why are I they see. running away from the uh, forensic audit? So, so let me establish this. So this nationwide demonstration essentially is to demand that the Electoral Commission accepts that request for an external audit of the voters' register going into this election, correct? Certainly, because we are looking for free, fair, credible election. We don't want an, an, a, 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 a register that will go and produce an illegal president for Ghana. We don't want it. We want a register that reflects the 
true nature of Ghanaians, those who are qualified to be in the register, not somebody cooking figures in the register. We don't want an election that mirrors the stand of Stalin. When Stalin told us that those who vote decide nothing, but those who count decide everything. We don't want it. That is not what our democracy was built on. What we have seen is that it's like those who count the vote. They want to decide who should be our president. No. We want those who vote. Those who vote, go and print. They should decide who should be a president. Not those who count. That is what we are seeing now. The Electoral Commission is behaving just like the model of Stalin. When Stalin said this, as way back 1924, now they, have, they want to play that thing for us. We won't agree. We are not saying that we are, we are, we, they, should put, they should put all of them aside. That's not our position. We are saying that make sure that let's get a forensic audit on this register so that we can have a clean, free, fair, transparent process towards December 7th. Well, Dr. Ashitanko, wait for uh, how the coming days will look like on this matter. September 17 is a date that you have said notice that this nationwide demonstration, all the 16 regions will take place. We'll, we'll see how things play out. But thank you so much for joining us here on Ghana Tonight. Dr. Ashitanko Computer is uh, Deputy Director of IT and Elections for the NDC. And this is your election command center. If you're just joining us, the breaking news that we brought to you is that the Electoral Commission has declared as null and void the parliamentary primary rerun for the Wale Wale constituency, the constituency for the vice president, Dr. Mahmoud Obamia, declared it null and void because the, the, some destruction that has been dealt on some of the ballot papers that were used during that election earlier today when the counting and the sorting was taking place. So as a result of those defaced and destroyed ballot papers, the Electoral Commission just some few minutes ago, as we brought to you, has uh, declared as null and void the Wale Wale parliamentary primary for the MPP, the rerun between Dr. Kabiru Chia Mahama and Hajia Zueratu as null and void. We'll see what the party will do in the coming days. This is your election command center.